God is good all the time. I love Jesus. You do too. Check this out. We love him because he first loved us. How about this? 1 John chapter 4 verse 19 says just that. We love him because he first loved us. So we can have joy in speaking his name. Think about it. If you woke up all day, you were walking with God, you were talking with God. No, you wake up every day and you're walking with God, you're talking to God. Not only walking and talking with God, you're speaking to God and he's hearing you and you're listening to him and when you're praying only according to his will, oh Lord, according to your will, please allow me to live in this day for it is his breath that we breathe that gives us the energy to do all that we do for every good gift comes from heaven and this is where he dwells and his son Jesus died on the cross for our sins so that we could have everlasting life in heaven when we leave this physical earth for in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth with that being said this is the joy this is, this is why I get joy I'm not showing off but I do know that Jesus is real I have the testimony where the Holy Spirit came to me said it's time I was sitting down in, 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 in jail I was arrested for being in a backyard in which I didn't know someone stayed there locked up for 311 days but while I was in jail in LA County because a guy he was in the backyard me and the guy was in the back of the window in his house and he banged on the uh, window the door and I almost had a heart attack he, he hit the alarm for the burglary alarm I left a week later police put me over and I told him that it was me I was the guy that was in the backyard and I was telling him that I was homeless out here in California because I actually came here to pursue my music because I make music and I knew at home in Detroit, Michigan, where I'm from, that it was just something telling me, kind of sort of like uh, Jonah. And now for some reason I know I can't leave. God has given me every sign that tells me I can't leave because I came out here on faith. It wasn't about God, but while I was in jail, I was going to church. Yes, for 311 days, we're going in the backyard. Instead of charging me with trespassing, they charged me with burglary. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. But that wasn't my intention. It was cold out here. I came out here, no family. And I didn't tell family I was coming out here. Just faith. But I know one thing. When I was in Michigan, where I'm from, Something said regret if I didn't do what I did and which led to me being where I am now, living in a church, a physical church for the real churches within us when we truly believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ dying on the cross for our sins. So with that being said, I went to church in jail and I was sitting down. This was the first time I was placed where I'm going to be. I had to wash up with like a 90 man and and I was housed with 90 men in this particular area. It's actually a camp like uh, uh, closed in place, but called jail. And uh, it was uh, caged up, so we were like caged animals with security. And the security is working overtime, it's kind of sort of like security is caged animals too. So God bless them. There is no, I'm not mad at the officer that told the system, the judge, that, that they reported I was trying to steal, I was trying to wash up. They call it larceny. Now, God has a plan. And nobody can interrupt him. When we're doing things according to God's will, we will know because he will allow us to continue to do that. And he will always show us signs that it is him and not self and not man. But it is him 
Well, when we come to glorify him, even when we don't know, he knows our life beginning, middle, and end. So he knows where we're heading, what, what's going on in our lives. But no matter what we're going to through, the storm that we're going through, we must always know and praise him and never curse his name. Even when Job was going through what he was going through, he lost his children, he lost his riches, he lost everything. He never cursed God, even when his wife said, curse his name and die. He had balls all over his feet, couldn't be recognized by his friends, and he didn't curse God. He questioned God in the way that many we will do, but he humbled himself when God put him in his place. Can you count the stars in the sky? God knows everything from Every hair on your body to the hair that will disappear to what you will do a second from now. He knows everything. So we must have confidence in God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. To whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3 verse 16. So I'm sitting in church in jail. So I'm sitting in church in jail. I want to make this clear. And there is a screen on the left side, a flat screen TV, and a flat screen TV on the right hand side. And it's on the wall. Gossip music is playing. And I'm seeing lyrics like, For God's a letter word that he gave us on God's son, from darkness to light. Now, throughout this whole process of me being locked up, I've never been locked up before ever in my life, and I'm 33. Like, this man. This is it. This is big. I know no one in California, but this one person, particular person, whose name is Jesus. But if you're reading it off a of paper and you're reading it like an American, his name reads Jesus. I was working at a place called J.C. Chicken. And through the grace of God, I was, able, I was able to work at this restaurant as a cashier. He said, the guy, Jesus, he said, I don't know why I trust you, but I do. But I knew why. Because I asked God, I said, Lord, I had a little money off collecting bottles out here. And cans, going to garbage cans. I had a little money. I said, Lord, with this little money, if it's meant, he will let me promote his JC Chicken for free. And so I go to the guy, so I buy some food, and I ask him afterwards, can I promote for you for free? Do marketing, just make videos telling people, the chicken is good, the chicken is good, and then post it online, all over social media. So he said, I could do that. And in the midst, he said, uh, he had me passing out samples, and then there were two older people. Mexican people, they were talking to me. They liked me. He said, hey, man, come over here. I didn't know you'd be that long. But people tend to talk to people that they trust. The God in us. So allow God to dwell within you. So, let's go back to the jail. So I ended up disappearing from the guy at the restaurant at JC Chicken. He didn't know what happened. And I was in the wrong backyard, like I said before. I didn't know. They could have just easily just helped me to find a shelter instead of locking me up for 311 days. But I was in the shelter. God provided me a shelter in jail. You know, even though I was charged with uh, uh, residential burglary at first, they tried to give me like two years in prison or to take a deal that would say that I committed the crime that they said I was trying to commit, which I wasn't trying to commit. But God knows the truth. We don't have to prove to men what God already knows. They lied on Jesus, said he was the, the devil because he healed the blind or he rose the sick. Well, he rose uh, Lazarus from death, shall I say. I'm sorry, my bad, my bad, nobody's perfect but God. Nobody is perfect but God. So when you're not, okay, put it like this. Kobe Bryant was a great shooter. Uh, Reggie Miller was a great shooter. Larry Bird was a great shooter. He probably shot, they probably practiced about a billion times. But they didn't make the shots a billion times. But they had faith. And we must have faith in the Lord the same way as we have faith in waking up in the morning. Have faith in us being great parents, a great mother, a great father, or faith in the father not being a great father. We must have faith in our true father, our one true living father, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the same way we have faith in negative things in life, negative people in our lives. We have faith that they're going to say something negative. Let's have faith in God in a positive way, the same way we have faith in people that will disappoint us. So, I'm in jail. There's a flat screen TV on the left hand side and the right hand side. And I see for God's a little world, for darkness to light. So, I'm about to cry, and other inmates are coming inside of the jail. It's like we're actually like inside of a, like a trailer inside of jail, but it's church. They make it church. And so, the music is playing gospel music, and I'm about to cry, and I'm like, I don't want to cry. And 
my feelings are hurt because I'm lost and I don't know what to do. I know I'm charged with a crime. In the end, I was charged with um, um, attempted residential burglary. And I took the offer because I didn't want to stay in jail too long. It was like we almost had a war, a race war. And I said, Lord, I'm going to leave. I'm going to take this three years of probation. And I'm going to trust you all the way. I need you. I'm going to take this, this offer that they're offering me. I can't be in here any longer. I don't want to die in jail. And he released me. He released me. And I'm here now, safe and sound. Where I am, I don't have to buy food. We eat three times a day. It's a blessing. I can have clothes. Everything that I'm wearing, these hats, I'm, it's for it because of God. For my favor coming out to California. So now I'm inside of this jail and I'm about to cry inside. I'm pouring out inside. My soul, my spirit is dying. It's crying. It's lost. I don't know. I don't comprehend what's going on. Lord, what is this? I left. I didn't tell my family. I have kids. Four kids I have. And I didn't tell my family that I was coming here. So I'm thinking like, they like, well, he deserves this because he shouldn't have left in the first place. He left his family, his children. He's not taking care of, taking care of responsibility. But our oh, Lord knows the truth, and the truth only lies in our Lord, for the heart is wicked, our hearts is wicked. We can't even trust our hearts, let alone trust anyone else. But we can pray to God that he lead us and guide us to those who we can trust who will be. We just need the Lord, man. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens us, which strengthens me, but strengthens us. We can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. Let us be one instead of separated. Families, let's start communicating again. Let's let go of our pride of the hate or who did this wrong to me. And let's at least communicate with one another. Be forgiven. God forgives us and wakes us up the next day. We sin every, every day, all throughout the day. He forgives us. So who are you to not forgive your neighbor? Your brother, your sister, your mother. You don't have to be around someone that's like dangerous or evil, but you can't forgive. Pray for them. So... I'm sitting in the jail cell. I'm about to cry. I don't want to cry. Other inmates are coming in. And all of a sudden, and I'm flipping to the page. And all I see is from darkness to light. Now, I believed in God, but I didn't believe that Jesus and God is one. Now I do. That's why I didn't say was one, is one, because they still are forever. The same today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Jesus, yes, you are. Holy Spirit, yes, you are. Our Father, who art in heaven, yes, you are. Three persons in one. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord, for understanding and knowledge of your word. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. So, I don't know what's going on. Then, from darkness to light, for God's a little word, now I start crying inside. I'm pouring out. I'm being convicted by the Holy Spirit, but I didn't know this at the time. This was going on. But the more I go to church, I realize that the Holy Spirit is real and the Father is real. And Jesus does offer himself, and it is up to us to accept that. Accept heaven with our Father when we leave this earth or hell. Freedom of choice. We have free will to do what we want to do and free will to do what he wants us to do. We want to choose what he tells us to do over what we want to do. We didn't create ourselves. We didn't create anything, even our children or our child, our future child. We created nothing. He created all things for his purpose, so purpose of glorifying him, which is why we must do this. We know that he is real. Look deep down inside and ask the question and, and, and the question will be answered within you because God dwells within you. And it's up to you to keep them inside of you when you know the truth. It's time. You hear it. Spread the truth. Get to know God for yourself in his word. Ask him for understanding and knowledge and wisdom so you can spread the truth to those who didn't believe like you and me that now are saved or will be saved. You will be saved. You're saving yourself right now. I am not me. I am him. He is me. We are one. Yes, with our Lord, our Savior, our creator. The architect of all architects. The creator of all creations. So, now, I start to cry. I tear up from the outside. Now, the last book I ran into was 1 John. And that was it. That's when I knew. And after, afterwards, I, I left the jail, jail church, and then I would start repenting for every sin that I could imagine that I did, for, for, for every sin that I would, would do, and, and I prayed to God that I wouldn't be committed to. And I pray for everybody that I know that I don't know the jail. So I even had a dream that... We had this thing called prayer call at the end of the night, like after um, our long day in jail where inmates would come around and, and, and worship the Lord and read the word together. I learned, I learned how to read in jail. Like, I learned how to read out loud in front of people. And we compared our situations to the Bible and 
We explained what we understood about the Bible in jail. We called it a prayer card. And uh, shout out to Smash, IBM. Met a lot of great people in there. But uh, I just want to say, God is real and God is true. This is why my energy is the way it is. The Holy Spirit is real. Just believe, believe. He will come. Just say, yeah. Now, before I leave, I'm going to uh, tell y'all why. What gives me Psalm 37, verse 4. This is why I jump around, do all of this and that. Because I read there's a guy, a wise guy, very wise guy told me this. Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And I desire to spread his truth to those who don't believe because he's real. And the devil is real. And he's great at Denying us a way to get to know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I'm here not to fight him because our Lord says vengeance is his. But to focus on what the word says to spread his gospel. That he died on the cross for our sins. He was risen by God. He is one with God Jesus. That the Holy Spirit was left with us. The comforter. We have him. And I'm revealing it to you. So you can know. So you can tell somebody else once you witness it. We need you Lord. And before I leave. I'm going to recite our new memory verse. Our new memory verse is in the book of. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. And it goes on to say this. not given us the spirit of fear <laughs> but of power and of love love and of a sound mind Lord thank you for your word we need you thank you Lord for my testimony share it compare it display it overlay it never delay it Lord you are real and I want them to feel this and know this. And I welcome the Holy Spirit through my voice, through my testimony to those who truly believe in you. To those who want to believe in you don't know how. Just ask God to make you believe what you don't believe so you can spread the truth. Ask according to his will and it shall be given to you. According to his will with confidence and knowing that he is real, he is true. He is the satisfier of your life. loves you. And he's reaching out. He has the desire. Our Lord humbles himself so much that he has the desire to prove to us that he is real. And he allowed us to know that he is real. Imagine that with him knowing that we would do what we do. But he sees everything. But he didn't do it for that. He did it because he loves us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Only to die for us. And it pleased the Lord to see that our Savior Jesus listened to every command that he told him to do. For him dying on the cross, every sin that we do is washed away. When we repent, turn from our sin, don't be committed to it. Forgive one another, love one another, suffer for one another, lay down our lives for one another. I deny myself, I must. The word says do it. We must deny ourselves for the Lord. He must increase. I must decrease. He must increase. We must decrease. John chapter 3 verse 30. Thank you, Lord, for your word. We need you. We love you. We love you. Forgive us for not coming back to you, Lord. We sin and we sin. Please, Lord, get us out of the sin that is blinding us from you. Let us see the light of your truth so we can spread it to those who don't believe and need to know this. Nobody wants to go to hell. Lord, show us the way to heaven. Show us the way so we can see you. Lord, make it so every knee will bow here down on earth so the Lord, you, can rejoice in heaven with the angels. Let us sing songs to you with all our hearts. Lean not on to our own understanding, but lean on to understanding you. Thank you, Lord, for using us. Teach us how to appreciate you more and more. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.